Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer from, I guess, which brewery was it really from? It says King State in Zocoa. So um, King State is actually uh, in Tampa. It's like a coffee shop slash beer bar, one of the cool places in town, apparently. I have yet to go, so I have to check that out. Zocoa is out of, I believe, North Carolina, uh, making some awesome, I think, lagers, but also pretty diverse styles. And this is Flor... <laughs> How do you mean that? Florilina. Florilina coffee box, 6.1%. I don't know why you may make a coffee box, but who knows. Um, anyway, uh, King State's not a brewery, but they decided to open up a contract, or one of the owners decided to open a contract brewery in St. Pete, um, which is called the Brutalist. So the contract brewery helping King State now make it. And uh, this, was, I was rec this was recommended when I went to GB. So um, why they recommend me a co coffee box, I don't know. The label's pretty dope. Reminds me a little bit of other half kind of thing going on with the colors, a little bit of camo, camo going on. More full, uh, big white head on that. Or not white, uh, uh, white tan head on that. Beer comes in a really nice kind of like a deep amber ruby color. It looks pretty appropriate for a Bach. I guess maybe color, uh, coffee might color that style a little bit, but like, you know, really nice kind of just deep hue to it. Uh, nice looking beer. Uh, not too much. I actually couldn't see my finger through it, sort of. So a little bit chill haze possibly, but yeah, I mean. Reminds me a little bit of, um, uh, I mean, it's not sweet, obviously. Well, I don't know. Can you smell sweetness? Um, depends, but or you, you can't actually smell sweetness. But uh, first thing it reminds me of is a little bit of regular coffee from um, Cardin, if you've ever had the pleasure of that, which is like an imperial cream ale with like lactose and coffee added. Um, really fun beer, but take smoke like like coffee grounds, like like you know fresh uh, fresh coffee. Um, yeah, yeah, like like. Obviously, yeah, not even espresso, just like the actual coffee beans. Um, not as silky and smooth, more like the grounds, almost like used grounds, actually. But it smells like coffee. <laughs> not too much malt um, on the nose, it's just really dominated by the coffee, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is a way to deliver coffee in a beer. Um, it's fun. This is sort of reminds me a little bit of like watered down iced coffee a little bit. It's not as like creamy and rich and thick as, or, um, sorry, silky and smooth as cold brew. Um, has a little bit of like light jagged edge to it, but like it's pretty smooth. And the malt sort of sits in the middle, not getting in the way too much. It honestly does complement like that that middle like kind of medium malt character. It's kind of like the box is gonna have this kind of Munich malt character. Um, so that toasted breadiness sort of like lifts up and like complements the coffee, link, pushing coffee a little bit further. It's a fun beer. Yeah, you get this. I think the um, I think the imperialness of the Bach, like that six percent, really helps like um, drive this beer through. Um, I think smaller, it wouldn't like, it would be a little flabby. So you, you get this pushed on like, how do you describe it? It has a little bit of this kind of like um, coffee cake kind of thing going on. Um, is that the thing? Coffee cake? Coffee, coffee cake, yeah, whatever. Um, but it's mostly like, yeah, a little bit of that brown sugar, a um, little bit of that kind of toasted bready malt to it. Uh, but really it's a delivery for coffee. Um, has a really nice kind of just like, Medium to medium plus coffee flavor that just lingers. Um, again, the best description is like just over diluted, a, a nice tasty um, uh, black iced coffee, just a little hair too much. Like, you know, maybe you have like a whole full glass and you had like 25% water. So it has that kind of like character to it because it's not as like bold and rich without the roasted malt and blah blah. The, the Bach is only pushing so much like flavor out of, uh, uh, with the coffee. It's an intriguing beer. Yeah. It's crushable. So drink really great, repeatably really great, novelty. I think not many people are making coffee beers at this like, you know, SRM, right? They're not really making amber coffee beers. So, you know, you think coffee, you're immediately going to stout or blah blah blah. Um and then like even then some people are making blonde coffee beers, but like not in this generally in this range of color. Um in the end, it's different and quite tasty. I'm cool with it. Clean fermentation, um, hides his alcohol quite well. Like this is this is six percent lager, right? And then and I mean I guess the coffee is there to sort of like uh, mask up some of that too, but coffee flavor is actually quite tasty. And then again, King State I believe is also a coffee shop, so they should know the coffee ramp. So um nice, nice, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> when they recommend again, when I'm asked for when I go to bottle shop and ask for recommendations, I'm gonna say like no, like like, if you recommend something, like, you know, I'll, I'll take the, like, why ask for recommendations? You're just not going to go with it. I'll, I'll go with it. So I, I took a shot. Um, yeah. 
cool the recommendation. I mean, it's not going to blow your socks off, but it's, it's a fun, interesting, different beer. And I, again, I like novelty. Again, how many people are making coffee beers at this like deep amber ruby kind of color? I don't know. I can't remember the last time I tasted any beer that had coffee that was um, at this ABV, right? Or uh, at, at this like color to it. So fun, fun, different, and the execution's great. So 93, 93. I mean, I just like it's cool. It's different. Four, four Lena coffee pack. I would never have told you that. Hey, man, I recommend like a amber coffee lager, but tastes good. That's all that matters. Cheers later.